In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to show you how to create 3D video. Now, 3D video is a bit of a novelty, but it's been around about 90 years. The example you're looking at right now is using the anaglyph method, where you need glasses where one lens is red and the other one is cyan. And you can pick these up at Amazon for anywhere from about $3 to $12, depending on whether you want a cardboard frame or a plastic frame. So even though it's a bit of a novelty, we're going to show you how you can create this kind of product using PowerDirector. We're using PowerDirector version 2365, and let's show you how to do that. You have to make two major changes in order to do this. First of all, you have to change your display options. So we're looking in the preview screen of this video of the young people on the beach and we're going to look under the render preview button at the button that says show preview quality or display options. I'm going to set that and I have one that says 2D to 3D display in the submenu and the default is standard 2D. Below I have four options that are not 2D. One is auto detect 3D the other is Anaglyph Red and Cyan. We'll be using that. The third is 3D Ready HDTV Checkerboard. The last is Micro Polarizer. Now, if you have sophisticated equipment that deal with the bottom two options, you already know what to do. We're not going to deal with that. Most of us who are using PowerDirector don't have that kind of equipment. And so our option is the Anaglyph Red and Cyan. In my case, if I do Auto Detect, that's actually the one it picks anyway. So I can choose either of these on my system, most likely you can as well. I'll set it to that, and now I have a change in the display, the preview of what happens when I actually watch my video. Now I actually have to change the video in the timeline. So I'm going to click on the video, and then I'm going to click above the timeline to the other box at the right side that says More Features. And then in the more features, I have an option that's not on the display screen called Set Clip Format. And under Set Clip Format, there is one option called Convert 2D to 3D. That's the one you'll want to click on. And when you do, you get a screen that looks like this. It reminds you in the top sentence there that you have to change your display mode so you can see accurately what you're doing but we'll just click the button that turns on 2D to 3D. And you notice instantly I have these colors that appear, both red and cyan, on my picture. So I can set the scene depth, which basically is the width of the colors on the screen. I can apply this to all of the elements in the timeline on the same track, or I can just apply it to the singular one at the time. I'm going to click on OK right now. And now I have this option on the screen. I've changed the, the video footage to 3D, and I've also changed the display so I can see it. Now, if you want to undo it, all you need to do is click on the little eye in the lower left corner under Tools, click on 2D to 3D, and you uncheck the button. Likewise, you're going back, you're going to have to go back to the, I'll cancel, go back to the option for viewing in the preview screen, click on that and go back to 2D, 3D and go to standard preview mode to return. I'm not going to do that right now. I am going to render what I have in the singular clip. So I'll click on the produce button at the top. It's going to save my project. Now I have to also make sure I'm not in the standard 2D tab on the upper left corner. That's where I produce most of my video. I have to make sure I'm on the 3D tab on the right side. And here I'm going to pick H.264. And then I can pick the name I want for the file and click on Start. And then it will render it. If I go back and try to render it as 2D, it will. It will ignore all those settings and I'll say, where is my 3D video? It won't be there. Even though it's a bit of a novelty, it's something you might want to explore and experiment with as you use this feature in CyberLink PowerDirector. Director.